Hi, I'm Amanda Carestio, Senior Editor for Sew News and Sew Daily, and I'm here today to talk about one of my favorite patterns and six easy ways that you can hack the pattern for a lot of different garments for your wardrobe. Uh, when I buy a pattern, I like to make sure that I will make it at least three times, so it's really a commitment. Um, but I also like a pattern that has a lot of easy ways to customize it um, so I can get a lot of different looks. Um, this particular pattern is the Linden sweatshirt from Greenline Studio. There are two versions. One is the traditional sweatshirt, and the second is a short sleeve shirt for warmer months. Um, this has a lot of the basic characteristics of a sweatshirt with the raglan sleeves, the neck band, the sleeve band, and the hem band. Um, but it's really easy to, to take it from this basic shape in a lot of different directions, and we'll go over those today. Um, some great fabric choices are French terry, sweatshirt fleece, so um, warmer fabrics for cooler months. You can bring in some lightweight jerseys and mix and match prints and stripes. And you can also, uh, with this pattern, one of my favorite things about it is because it's really easy to do a different uh, fabric for the sleeves and the bodice, you can use repurposed fabric. So if you've got some garments in your wardrobe that you're not wearing anymore, or perhaps some thrifted fabric, you can use those really easily here since you don't need a whole lot. The first hack we're gonna cover today is a French Terry um, sweatshirt hack. Um, I haven't done too much different here other than add a little bit of length because I didn't do the hem band. Um, I borrowed a shirt tail hem from another pattern and simply laid it on the pattern piece and traced the bottom line just to take it a little bit more formal. I, I think the hem band tends to make it look sporty um, so without that, it's just a little bit more um, casual and something that you could wear to work potentially. This is hack two. This is the short sleeve version of the sweatshirt. Uh, I've done it with a three quarter length sleeve and the stripe fabric was actually something that I had in my stash, but the sleeves and the neckband are from a maternity dress that I was no longer wearing. I actually placed the bottom edge of the sleeve pattern piece on the bottom edge of the dress, so I didn't even have to finish the sleeves, so I saved time. If you're gonna mix and match fabric like this and use fabric from garments that you are repurposing, it's, it can be difficult because you don't necessarily know what the fabric content is. So when you're pairing these, just make sure that the fabric has a similar weight and that it also has a similar amount of stretch and you'll be good to go. With this version, I also repurposed some fabric. The sleeves are from an old t-shirt of mine that had seen better days, and the bodice and the neckband are from a thrifted shirt. One of the reasons I went with thrifted fabric um, for the bodice on this one is that I've had a hard time finding thermal fabric that I really like. Um, the, the trick here is that this fabric, because it has so much, much texture, is quite a bit heavier than most knits that you may have in your stash. So the trick is to pair it with a really stable sleeve fabric and you should be good to go. For this version, I've done a really basic sweatshirt on top in a really nice rayon French terry, which is pretty drapey for a French terry, and then added a peplum border at the bottom. Um, where you place this border is really important. So I would either use a pattern from your stash that has this kind of um, detail on it or use a ready-to-wear garment and use that as a basis for where to cut this off. Um, to do this technique, you just cut a strip that's about nine inches wide, um, and then that measures one and a half times the length of the bottom edge of the cut bodice. From there, you just add some simple pleats on the front and the back, and your look is ready. With this look, we've got a really basic uh, version of the sweatshirt at the top and added a skirt with gathers to create a dress. Um, one of the other things I did with this is borrowed pattern pieces from another pattern to create some really easy inseam pockets because dresses with pockets are just much better. For version six, I have made the t-shirt version of the pattern with some really simple color blocking at the side. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do that today. I love color blocking because you can change up the lines of the pattern really easily and draw the eye inward or outward, um, however you need to draw it. And for this version, I've also added a really simple split hem with these side panels. So to do this, you're gonna trace your pattern pieces onto pattern drafting paper. 
And then on the front bodice piece, you're gonna add two inches for just a little bit of length. On the back piece, add three inches to make that uneven um, split hem. Along the armhole, measure in two and a half inches. Make a mark. And along the hem, do the same thing. And then connect those lines. Um, you can do a straight line here. If you want to mimic some princess seaming, you can also do that and create a slight curve. I like to highlight my cut lines when I'm doing this kind of hack. That's just a reminder to myself that when I, after I cut these two pieces, and I've, I've got two separate pattern pieces here, to add the seam allowance along both edge. Um, so I don't just cut right along the pattern piece. I'll actually add that while I'm cutting. Do the same thing to the back. And since these pieces are gonna end up looking very similar, you, you wanna label these as the front panel and the back panel. As you're, um, after you've cut out your other pattern pieces and you're ready to put this together, you'll add your front panel pieces on either side of the front bodice. You'll do the same with the back bodice, and then you're good to go um, with the construction according to the guide sheet. There are so many fun ways to hack this pattern. You can add a cuff sleeve, a patch pocket, or a pouch pocket. You could add a hood or a cowl neckline. You could do a standard sweatshirt and add a zipper down the front for a bomber style look. I hope you enjoy making your linden sweatshirt or six.